everyone welcome back to my channel how you are doing today i hope you are doing well thank you so much guys for coming back in case you're watching me for the first time my name is cynthia you're welcome to the family please subscribe if you have not done that and to my returning subscribers you guys are awesome so in today's video i'm going to be showing us how to make this short dress so this is a requested video someone sent it to our facebook group page so i decided to make a video on it so i'll be making use of two yards of crepe fabric 16 inches by length let's get started so we'll go ahead and fold the fabric we'll be cutting out the front and the back together so i fold my fabric into two both the front and the back this is the front and this is the back this is my starting point I will mark all the vertical lines. So this is the bust line, ten and a half inches plus so in allowance. Shoulder to the bust is ten and a half inches plus so in allowance. From shoulder to waist is uh, ten and a half inches plus so in allowance. From shoulder to hip is twenty four and a half inches plus so in allowance. I will mark the whole lines. The length is 39 inches plus sewing allowance. To determine how many fabric you're going to be cutting out, so you measure right from the back midpoint to where you want it to be. So I'll be cutting out the sleeve and the shoulder together. I'll be placing 16 inches here. Normally the shoulder is 16 inches, divided by 2 is 8 inches. So I'll mark 8 inches here. I'll be adding extra 8 inches to it. So making it 16 inches. So I'll mark 16 inches for the shoulder and the sleeve. It's a cut together. I mark 16 inches for the shoulder and the sleeve, depending on how you want it to be. So I will add one inch for sewing allowance. That is 17 inches. Yes, yeah, so I will place the neck uh, measurement. I'll be using 3.5 inches for the neck width. That's the wideness of the neck. I will mark 1.5 inches for the back depth and 3.5 inches for the front depth. Go ahead and cover the neckline, both front and back. So we go to this end here, we are marked 17 inches. I will come down by 1.5 inches for shoulder slope. I will connect the shoulder slope to the neckline. So this is the shoulder slope. Right from the shoulder slope here, I will mark the round arm hole. That's the arm opening. The round arm hole is 14 inches divided by 2 is 7 inches. But I'll be making it times 2 of that 7 inches. If you look at the one in the picture, it's very wide. I will mark 13 inches for the arm opening. Just like times it by 2. So I'll make a line here. This is a free gun. This is supposed to be the bust measurement. What I will do is to deduct one inch right from here. I will go inside by one inch. If you don't want it too big, you can go inside by two inches. So this is two inches. If you don't want it too free, you place the bust measurement here and add about two to three inches for ease. You will do the same thing for the waist, the hip, all the way to the bottom part. Like this one I'm working with, the bust measurement is 42 inches, divided by 4 is 10.5. I'll add 2 inches for ease, and then I'll add 1 inch for sewing allowance. So what I place here, I added 3 inches here all together, put sewing allowance. So I have a roughly 15 inches here, I will still place 15 inches here, and bring it all the way to the bottom part. So when I check the hip measurement, is 15 inches the hip is 15 inches also is wide enough to accommodate the hip the bust and the waist measurements so that just it you go inside like so just from the arm hole you curve it like so right from this place now you can just go inside by one inch now we just connect it from here to this one inch this is the arm opening 
and you bring it like so. Take it down. That just it is a free dress. It's very easy to make. I'll go ahead and cut it out. Is that you place one measurement or you place the bust waist hip measurement and add about two to three inches for ease. I'll be adding raw food to the sleeve part of the dress. I'll bring the front part out and cut the neckline. So that's just it for the cutting. What we are going to do is to join the front and the, the back together before we cut out the ruffle for the sleeve. If you don't want it too big, you can add just one inch for ease and one inch for sewing allowance for the bust, waist, and hip. So I will be cutting out the facing. We cut out it at 1.5 inches facing. I'll do the same thing for the other side. I will use the facing to turn the neckline. I'll place the facing like so. Stitch it right side facing right side and then turn it to the other side. I will make a slit at the back so that the dress can go through the head freely. So this is the midpoint of the back side and this is the back slit. So I will first hem the back slit a quarter of an inch twice, hem it round and use the facing to turn the neckline. So after I've done that I will join the shoulders together. I will not be joining the side at the moment because I'll be attaching the ruffles to the sleeve for before joining the side. After using the facing to turn the neckline, I will use half inch to join the shoulders. So guys, I finished um, joining the shoulders together. I have also hemmed the neckline. This is the back slit. So what I'm going to do is to measure this uh, arm opening, that's the sleeve part, and uh, use it to cut out the ruffles. So I'll open it up like so and measure it. I have 24 inches here. I will times this uh, 24 inches by 2 because I'm making a gather here. So 24 times 3 is um, 72 inches. And I'll be cutting out 72 inches here. So I have 72 inches here and the length is 6 inches. The length is 6 inches and the wideness is 72 inches. I will cut out 2 of these for 2 sleeves. So I will take it to my machine and then use my gather stitch to gather it up to 24 inches. So guys, this is the ruffle. If you want it fuller than this, you can times it by 4. So I've gathered it up to 24 inches. I'll go ahead and attach it to the arm opening or the sleeve area. I'll open it up like so. I will place this like so, right side facing right side. So I will use half inch to join the ruffle to the arm opening here. I will do the same thing for the other side. So guys, I finished attaching the ruffles to the dress. This is this side. Before you make the ruffles, make sure you hem the button to make. So we'll go ahead and then join the front and the back together. So I'll hem it with one inch right from here to the bottom part. I'll do the same thing for this side. I'll hem it from here and bring it down to the bottom part. So guys, we are done with the dress. I've finished joining both sides together. So this is the sleeve. I also hem the bottom part. 
for the back slit you can add the pressing button here so that's basically it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe if you're here for the first time i will see you guys in my next one love you bye